In recent years, many scientists like Dario Tedesco have been studying the lava, trying to understand why it flows so fast and whether future eruptions can be predicted. It's really completely different from other volcano. It really is unique. There are so many secrets on this volcano that you don't get from the other volcanoes. And Nira Gongo offers a unique opportunity because sitting in its crater is the world's largest lava lake. Usually magma, the molten rock inside a volcano, collects in reservoirs far below the Earth's surface, where it's almost impossible to study. But here, it's sitting right out in the open. Dario's team are trying to collect a sample of fresh lava from the lake, but it's a long way down. The crater is deep enough to bury the Empire State Building. They stop halfway. As the lake is so active, they decide to get a sample from a safer distance. 600 meters away. But while they're setting up, Dario spots someone else much closer to the boiling hot lake. It is dangerous in my opinion, it is a little crazy. I mean, I won't do that. C'est pas la peine de rester là pour si longtemps. Ça fait déjà cinq minutes. C'est très dangereux. It seems an extraordinary risk. But back in the lab, analysis of samples like these by geologist Tom Dara is giving real insight into why it's so deadly. The composition of Mount Niragongo's lavas are both complex and mysterious. The lava I'm holding in my hand from Mount Niragongo is effectively a time capsule of the Earth's history. When the sample is heated and analysed, scientists discovered a composition of the chemicals strontium and neodymium that's only found in one other place. Ancient asteroids. They think this lava contains traces of the ancient rocks that formed the Earth four billion years ago. The only way it could have this signature is if its origins lie deep within the planet. The gases we, that we analyze tell us that this, law, this volcano is sourced from a very deep location within the Earth. The source has to be somewhere well below the Earth's crust. In fact, scientists believe there's a huge upwelling of intense heat. A mantle plume rising up from deep under this part of East Africa. It's the way this hotspot interacts with the Earth's mantle that generates a magma that's very low in silica. This is a lava lake. One of very few on the entire planet. It's a permanently molten pool of lava that's continually replenished from deep inside the Earth. Here, scientists have a window into the most powerful force on the planet. That's one of the things that's very special about this volcano. It has an active lava lake, which is bringing molten rock up to the surface of the Earth, releasing its heat and gas into the atmosphere. Erterale is the very top part of a deep plumbing system, if you like, that's delivering molten rock up to the surface. Scientists study the lava lake to learn more about the immense power of Earth's inner heat.
And it's at night that Erta Ali begins to reveal its secrets. When the motion of the lava lake is speeded up, something intriguing becomes apparent. The movement of the lava follows a very distinctive pattern. It wells up on one side of the crater and forms a dark crust as it cools. Then this crust is moved across the surface of the lake by the churning action of the lava below. Finally, the crust sinks back down. The lava that we see here and the high temperatures that we see are a reminder of the immense heat inside the Earth. And it's this heat that provides the energy that churns around the Earth's interior. This process of molten rock churning away below the surface affects the planet on a global scale. But the Earth's heat does far more than simply fuel volcanoes. It continually rebuilds the planet's surface. And it created the conditions for life on Earth to begin. It's quite simple. On this planet, nothing is more powerful 